Welcome back and now I'm going to show you the value setting components um, like uh, J radio button and J text uh, check boxes. Okay, so now let's is gonna move into okay, let's just create a new project. Okay, create a new project. I'm gonna name this one um, um, J radio button J checkbox. Okay, checkbox and and um, J um, radio button. Okay, J checkbox and J radio button. Okay, finish. Okay, uh, similar to the other project, I'm going to delete this main one. Right click, new J frame form, and I'm gonna copy copy this name and paste it here. Okay, finish. Now we have the form, and let's just say that we're going to um, um, place here the um, check check box. Okay, this one is checkbox. Let's just create a label for the checkbox, which is this label is gonna be named as let's just say um, hobbies of the students, hobbies. Okay, and this checkbox we're going to name the hobbies as let's say shopping. Okay, wanna copy paste another checkbox for let's say edit name. This one is for games. Okay, right click on this one. Now just copy and paste it, and we have another control um, for uh, this one. Let's say for reading. Let's say, okay. So we we'll have shopping games and reading for the hobbies. So uh, they are the this one, this one, and this one are all the value setting components, and and um, um for um, checkbox. Okay, for check boxes, we can select multiple of them. We we'll select multiple of them. So we're going to, I'm going to click on a, um, um, uh, click create a button here, right click and change the text into display. Okay, and I'll right click on this one, change uh, the variable name btn button display. Okay, and then right now, um, we're going to um, work with this kind of thing for this kind of controls are the value setting controls and um, we can either check or uncheck this one so it's going to store the value of um, true phones over here selected or not selected okay and the special point about the um, check um, check boxes is that user can select many of them Okay, user can select many, many of them, maybe none of them, maybe one of them, maybe two of them, so on and so forth. So um, um, I'm going to, let's say, if user click on the display button, we're going to perform some action. Okay, we're going to do action performed. Uh, then um, from here, from here, I'm going to declare. Uh, no, no, we're going to handle the, um, um, I'm going to declare string here, string result equal to nouns and we're going to um, 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 display the result as as um, the list of the items that the user selected over here so um, we're going to do another part for event handling we're going to handle events for this shopping as well if you don't know about what event handling please watch my previous video about this one okay about the event handling for the button and we're going to do the event handling for shopping so very similar to the event handling for the button we're going to right click on this one events when is a click or do some action on this one we're going to it's going to raise an event and we're going to perform some action okay perform some action and this method is gonna create the action to be performed if user click on shopping so if you just click on shopping, oh, um, I just haven't named this one, so I have to name this one. Right click this one, change for rename. This one is checks box. Okay, uh, once more, um, for all the swing components, we're going to follow the naming conventions. That is, your component is going to start with three um, um, letters to abbrevi abbreviate uh, the um, um, components that we're working with. CBX is for checkbox. I'm gonna put this one checkbox shopping. Okay, checkbox shopping. Similarly, um, we're going to change this for name into um, checkbox games. Okay. Similarly, we're going to name this one as CBX checkbox reading. Okay, checkbox reading. Then we're going to handle the event for this shopping um, checkbox. So right click on this one, events action action performed. 
So it's gonna call to once user select on a uh, click on that one, it's gonna call to checkbox um, um, actions and uh, because user can choose any number of them. Okay, so the size of this one is flexible. So I'm going to create an array list of string to store all the hobbies that user could store. So we're going to um, uh, declare array list. Okay, array list our release of string and this one is to store hobbies of the user equal to new array list okay and once you just click on um, shopping we don't say we're going to um, we're going to uh, select check if user is selecting or is deselecting because it's the same one, if you haven't selected, if you click on it, you select it. And if it is selected and you click on it, you deselect it. So you don't check whether you user selected or deselected. So if the CPX in order to do so, we're going to say CPX shopping that we are doing right now, dot is selected. Okay. Is selected. If it is selected, then we're going to, okay. Then we're going to, um, if it is selected, we're going to add shopping to the list. Okay, so we're gonna say hobbies dot add. You're going to add shopping into the list. Okay, shopping into the list. Okay, otherwise else. Okay, if user click on it and if it is not selected, mean it is unselected. And if it's unselected, we're going to need to remove shopping out of the list. So we're gonna say hobbies okay, dot remove shopping. Our the list, okay, okay. So when user select on this shopping, you know, uh, we're gonna check if checkbox uh, shopping is selected. If it's selected, we're gonna add shopping to the list of hobbies, okay. Mm, otherwise, we're going to remove shopping out of the list because it's unselected. Very similar, we're going to right click on this one if an accent accent performed, and the code is very similar. So we're going to copy this one. And we're going to change this one into games. Okay, this one into games. Okay, this one change it into games. And yep, yeah, just done. Very similar. We're going to right click on this one if an accent accent performed and change this one into and change this one into um um, um. now we're going to paste this one. This one is games not shopping games not shopping so this um, um reading okay this is for reading so we're going to uh, change this one into reading change this one into reading change this one into reading change this one to reading change this one into reading good yep then then Right now, if you select this one, it's gonna store in the information. If we click on display now, uh, we're going to um, uh, display things into the uh, result. So we're going to say string hobbies, hobbies equal to nouns as well. Then we make our for loops to look through each elements of the hobby. For each hobby, we're gonna say hobbies plus equal to um, um, mm, mm, uh, a space plus our hobbies over there okay then result plus equal to uh, hobbies and we're going to use j ops and paints in order to show a message to the user dot show message dialog then we're going to display the results over there okay we're going to display the result over there so if we run this one if we run this one and let's say if you select shopping and reading click on display you have shopping and this reading okay if you um, choose games as well you have all the three over there or you want to unselect this one you'll see you have reading and games only reading and games only see so that one is about um, um, value setting components using um, checkbox and, and um, handling events using check um, for further checkbox okay and very similar, I'm going to um, demonstrate about the similar components inside here, which is the um, radio button. Okay, radio button, radio button, 
Okay, so I'm going to um, create a label here for let's say user to select the hobby uh, sorry gender of a person. So we're going to uh, allow the user to select even uh, in, um, either male. Then I'm gonna copy and paste this one or female. Okay, right click this one, edit take female. Okay, so I'm gonna right click on this one, change the variable name into RBT for radio button. Okay, male. And this one is we're going to right click change the variable names RBT for ray button female. Okay, then very similar to the previous one. Let's say, but, but, but let's say um, 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 we're going to what's the difference between what's the difference between a checkbox and a ray button is if the two radio button belonging to a group, you could select only one of them, either male or female, you cannot select more than one of them. It's different from radio um, um, checkboxes. Okay, so we're going to run this one and see. Okay, as I said, this one you can select multiple of them. This one you can select only one of them, but you know, can you see? You know, we could select both of them right now. Okay, the reason is you know, in order to specify that the two radio button belonging to a groups. Okay, the two radio button belonging to a groups. We have to. We have to. Uh, specify so because we may have multiple groups of radio button. How can we know that you know which one is belonging to a group? Okay, so we would like to show the two that they are in the same group of radio buttons. We're going to you know, have to specify that one. So if they're belonging to a group, you can select only one of them. How can we do so? You know, Java provides you a component which is a button group. Okay, and button group is not a visible component. Okay, it is not a visible. A group is just a logical component. Okay, helping us to group the two uh, radio button. Okay, so now I'm going to drag and drop that button group in, and it will not have the visible. Um, 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 uh, it is not a visible component, so you cannot see it. But you can click on Navigator. If you don't have Navigator, click on Windows um, um, and click on Navigator over here. So we click on the Navigator and see this one is the radio button that we dropped in um, previously. Right click on this one, change variable name and change it into um, 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 button group BTG, button group for the gender. Okay button group for the gender then get back to our J frame you click on the mail and click on properties you can set the properties for this one is that you know you're gonna specify the button group for gender right now is button gender so the um, button gender so the male right now is belonging to gender group similarly you want to click on female and we're going to click on properties and we select our button group and right now we tell that it's belonging to a button gender to okay, right now right now you're going to observe that there is an um, yellow line as a connection between male and female radio buttons to show that they are belonging to the same group okay to show that they are belonging to the same group so if you can run this one you'll see okay you can select either one of them when when you select the other one it's gonna deselect the the uh, when you select one it's gonna deselect the other one okay so you can either select one of them only that's just like this one okay then right now we're going to do event handling for the male and female but before that i want what i, I would like to do is that we're going to click on properties and just set one of the default one here um, which is um, selected Okay, so the mail is the default one. By default, it is selected. So I want to select on the mail and I want to check it. It is selected right now. So when we click on display, I'm going to declare a string uh, gender. Okay, gender equal to um, default is male because we already set over there default the gender is male. Then right now, if is a click on, you're going to handle this, uh, the event. Right click on this one, events action accent performed okay if user check on uh, click on the the, the um, radio button mail will do if you know radio button mail sorry radio button mail dot is selected we're going to set the gender equal to male okay else means it's not selected then we set the gender equal to um, equal to female okay 
Very similarly, we're going to handle events for female, but a um, radio button event action performed. Okay, so if that female button is click, okay, female, okay, button is click. Similar to previous one, so this one, um, radio button female is selected, gender equal to female, female, and um, otherwise, gender, of course, is, is male. Then from from so that one is event handling for when we click the two buttons, they're going to set the value to our gender variables. Then if we uh, click on the button um, display now, we're going to add our uh, result plus equal to the gender information. Let's just uh, specify this one is hobbies, okay? Plus this hobbies, and this one is gender. Please, and I'm going to create a new line over here. Okay, a new line for the gender. So if we run this one right now, if we run this one right now, we're going to see. Okay, uh, by default, male is selected, and our default values for the um, gender variable is also male. Okay, then if we select female, if we select on click on female, it's going to raise an event for the red button female. Okay, raise an event for red button female. Okay, red button female. And it's going to check red button female is selected. And in this case, yes, it is selected. And, and if it is selected, the gender now is female. Okay, gender right now is female. Gender right now is female. Okay, and because the gender is female, if we click on this display button, if you click on that display button, okay, it's gonna perform this. Oh no, sorry, it's gonna perform this action, and you know you're going to add gender equal to gender which is female right now to the result. So if you click on display, you will see hobbies. I haven't selected anything, so there is no hobbies over there. Then under the line which is for gender that we selected, female is here. Okay, let's just test with shopping game, uh, change back to male display, you see, shopping and games, gender is male, okay? So that one is about the radio buttons and, and, and check boxes, okay? okay. I want to show you other components later.